Hello students, happy Monday. Today we're going to have an art video. Before I go on and tell us what we're gonna be doing today, let me go over something that happened. If you have your work packet, you notice that the first worksheet in your art packet was the form worksheet, which was on the elements of form. You saw the form worksheet, it's labeled for April 15th. So on April 15th, I made a video for that one. and. This worksheet is the second one and it's actually labeled for April 20th and April 20th is today. If you don't know what I mean, on Friday I actually posted a video that had to do with this worksheet and how to put together the cube. That means that for today, if you are working on this worksheet today, I'm going to link up the video and you can find it and watch it from there. But since I already did upload that video, what we're going to be working on today is a how to draw video. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on a picture. If you look at it, it might look a little weird to you, but it's actually an optical illusion that we're going to be working on together. So we're going to watch this great video. We're going to work on it with each other. And one thing that I'm going to let you know is that I always use pencil first when I am creating something because it is okay to erase and it's we're able to erase if we're using a pencil but if we're using a marker or a crayon or something else that is not erasable it's going to be a little difficult and we might have to start all over so i always start off with a pencil the video we're going to watch is going to have me start with a pencil we're going to watch and see how we can create this optical illusion I'm going to show you a video of my optical illusion and how it came out. Just remember that when you are creating your optical illusion, the part that is black, try to go over it multiple times so it can be dark and thick so you can be able to visibly see it. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Now you have your white paper and you are going to fold it in half. Make sure that you press down the crease so it's a nice fold and then you're going to open it up and get ready to draw. You can take out your pencil and what you're going to do is you are going to draw a straight line that's going to be the first part of your ladder. Make sure that you draw more on the left side of your paper rather than the middle. So it's going to be to one side, not right in the center. Once you finish your first line, you're going to draw the other side of your ladder. Since it needs two lines, you're going to draw the next one right next to it. Leave some space so you could have the ladder steps in between. Make sure that this line is also straight. You can always draw on it lightly and go over it afterwards. As you can see, I'm going to go over my pencil lines with a gray colored pencil so it's darker but not too dark. Remember, it's supposed to be the shadow of your ladder so you do not want it super dark because it's going to be slightly there. Now you are going to draw another part of your ladder. This to help you get the illusion, this ladder. So you are going to draw a line diagonally to the center of your paper. Make sure that this line is straight. So if you need a ruler to make your line straight, you could definitely use one. Right now I'm not using one, but I'm, I am going to go over it with a ruler later. Once both lines touch the middle of your paper at that crease, then you are going to start making them go diagonally down to touch the other end of the ladder. Make sure that is straight like I said. One mistake that I did make here in this video is that I did not make my ladder further diagonally. So if you want to make it further diagonally, that would help you better get your effect. What you guys are going to see later when I show you the final product of my drawing, you're going to be able to see that it looks a little different than this video because I actually made another one since I couldn't really see the illusions, but 
do make your lines longer and further out diagonally to the right of your paper. Here I am going over my lines with my ruler just to make sure that it's a straight line because I want to be able to see the illusion as best as possible and to make it as perfect as I can. Obviously it can't be completely perfect but I can try my best. Since I did start off with a pencil on my drawing first, I am now going to go over my lines with a marker and follow the straight lines that I created with my ruler. I'm going to try my best to make it as straight as I can just so that it could help better the illusion that we're trying to create. Now I'm going to start working on my first line for my step and I'm going to do this with a black marker and I'm going to create the lines up on my two dark lines that I have for my ladder. You can make your steps as close as you want them to be. So mines aren't that close together. They're about an inch and a half apart from each other. But if you want to make them closer, then you can definitely do that and make how many steps you want on yours. To start working on the steps for your shadow part so this one you're going to use your pencil again and you're going to make a straight line across the ladder at the same positioning that the other steps are at make sure that they are at the closest as the other ones are obviously it's not going to look the same and some of them might overlap but that's okay after you do this you can definitely go over the gray areas with your crayon You are now done so you can fold your paper again and make sure that crease is ready for your illusion. This is my video of my final product. This is the first drawing that I created and that you guys saw me create. As you can see, it was a little hard for me to see the illusion so I made a second one which is this one. As you can see the lines for the diagonal and the black ones are further away into the center of my paper so I I think it helped me a little bit so definitely show me your pictures of the illusions that you guys created that is it for today thank you I hope that you guys enjoyed the video on the how-to I hope that you guys have a fantastic Monday and a very productive one as well and I will see you guys soon bye